Ah, yes. A hoodie. Who picked this thing out? It certainly wasn't me. Let's hope Jason found something a little more stylish for this tutorial. So today I'm going to show you how to swap out the default MetaHuman shirt with one I bought from the Fab Marketplace. It's the work brand techwear pack from Cinematography Database and cost about 20 bucks for the whole pack. Since it's already MetaHuman compatible, we don't need anything special. I'll just show you how to add it to the character blueprint and adjust the construction script so it follows our character without clipping. This same process applies to any clothing already rigged for the MetaHuman skeleton. Just make sure the outfit's body size matches your specific MetaHuman's proportions as closely as possible. First thing you're going to want to do is go to MetaHuman Creator and duplicate your MetaHuman. So just select your MetaHuman and click the Duplicate button in the lower left. Just make sure to rename the duplicate. You don't want it to have the same name. That's going to cause a problem. In this case, we're just going to select no shirt. It's going to be the most compatible with this process. And then just click on my metahumans in the upper left just to be absolutely sure that it saves. The creator of the clothing pack is Matt Workman. And make sure to check out his Cinematography Database YouTube channel. He goes over in detail how to add each and every component to his packs to a metahuman. So just like you would with any other metahuman, you're going to go to your content drawer, right click, and go to Add Quixel Content, and just click that Stay Here button. Click on MetaHumans, click on My MetaHumans, and then you're going to select the one that you created, the duplicate, the one with no shirt. And if you need to download it, make sure you download the cinematic quality one. And hit the Add to Project button once it's done downloading. In this case, let's click the Import button, search for your MetaHumans name, make sure you hover over it so you know you're picking the right body. And once you see that file path looks correct, just select it, click import. We're going to navigate to the folder of the metahuman we just imported. Double click the character blueprint. But wait, wait. In my case, I'm picking up from where I left off in a previous tutorial. But if this is the first metahuman you've added to your project, just click the boxes for enable missing and then restart your project. Be sure to save and go back into the character blueprint. Let's expand the window, go to the viewport tab. We're just double checking everything loaded. And then under Components on the left, scroll down to LOD Sync, select it, and change the forced LOD to zero, and then Compile and Save. Looks good. Now let's go to the Epic Launcher, go to your library, and refresh your fab library if you need to, and search for Work Brand. Time out just a tick, Governor. So as long as you bought your clothing on the Fab or Unreal Marketplace, it'll be the same process as this. If you've got it elsewhere, this tutorial won't cover that. But let me know in the comments if you'd be interested in seeing a video like that. Glad we sorted that. And as with a lot of things that you purchase on the Marketplace, when you click Add to Project, you'll have to check the box for Show All Projects, and then search for the project, select it, and then select the closest version to what you have before hitting Add to Project. We're going to switch back to our project and our character blueprint. We're going to go to the WB Techwear folder, into the Skeletal Meshes, and in my case, the Female Tall Normal folder, so FTN. Simone's actually medium underweight, but as long as it's close, you usually can get away with it once you add it to the construction script and compile it. So just grab that female tall normal skeletal mesh shirt and drag it into the blueprint. It's going to hover over her body like that, but that's okay. In the components tab, just make sure to drag that skeletal mesh shirt onto the body. That'll make it a child of the body, which is what we want. Next, we're going to go to the construction script tab, and we're going to duplicate a couple of nodes. We're going to drag the purple construction script node over to the left to make room. Select one of the enable master pose nodes, and then hold down the control key on the keyboard and then hit the D for duplicate, and it'll duplicate that node. We're going to grab that duplicated node and drag it over to the left next to the construction script node, and then add it to the chain. Now from the components box, just drag that skeletal mesh shirt into the construction script, and then we'll connect it up to the skeletal mesh component pin on the enable master pose node. And then we'll go back to the viewport tab just so we can see what happens when we hit compile. So hit the compile button, it should drop into place. And this pack comes with different material colors, so I'm going to select the pink material so it looks nicer. Once you're happy, just make sure to hit the Save button in the upper left of the Blueprint window. Now you can close it and go back to the project. So again, in my case, I already have an existing project from a previous tutorial. For those of you that created a new project and only have the MetaHuman that you changed the shirt on, you can just drag them into the scene and use them as you normally would. But if you already have a metahuman in your scene wearing the standard shirt, and you followed my earlier steps to create a duplicate metahuman with a custom shirt, I'll show you how to quickly swap them out so you can use the newly customized version instead. 
It's pretty simple, really. You just navigate to the MetaHuman where you swapped out the shirt, select it, then right-click on the character in the viewport, choose Replace Selected Actor With, and then select the one with the custom shirt, and it'll swap it out. And that's it. Thanks for watching, and make sure to like and subscribe for more quick tips for indie animators.